Western Diamondback rattlesnakes and Mojave rattlesnakes can look pretty similar. To help me out and show you the differences, I have these. It's a bunch of baby rattlesnakes. Oh yeah, it's a little Mojave rattlesnake. Oh, there he is. Whoa! Cool, huh? Hey everybody, Jeff here. I am headed out to Santan Valley right now to go get a rattlesnake that's on the side of a, a road. A viewer actually called it in and she is watching it right now. I think she said she even might have put a, a, a Home Depot bucket on it or something like that. This is kind of an unorthodox call because it's on the side of the road and not really on a property. And generally speaking, because we need to send agents out and we are a business, we do have to charge a fee to remove a snake. But I'm just gonna go out and help her out this go around for three reasons. One, because I'd like to see the snake not live in a hyper-developed area where it's just gonna get munched into the ground. Two, it's really, really close to me. And three, because some of you may or may not know I actually do the editing for this channel and I have been editing all day and my eyes are going cross-eyed and it's gonna be a really nice excuse for me to get out into some habitat and go out and go herping or looking for snakes while I'm releasing this other snake. So again, we don't generally do this, but I kind of felt like it. So I'm gonna head out there now. All right, looks like she's sitting right there. She's got her headlight on the bucket. <laughs> she trapped the snake in under a bucket, that's awesome. Oh yeah, it's definitely got some holes it could have gone under. Yeah. I know, he, he started going this way and I'm like, alright. He was moving slow enough so I decided I was going to go run home since it's right down the street. Oh yeah. Bucket and I shovel. Yeah. Okay. And I just kind of stand there and I'm like, okay, I'm going to get him out of the way. So I kind of ran back and forth and I got him out of the way. Oh yeah, it's a little Mojave rattlesnake. Wanna come see him? Yeah. Very, very, very pale looking one. Yeah, he is. And he was moving like really, really super slow. He does have more rattles on him than I thought. Yeah, that's a beautiful little Mojave rattlesnake. I really like how pale he is. Yeah, he was just like chugging really slow right across the street. I'm like, all right, dude, come on. So I just yeah. <laughs> splashing water on him. Then he finally started moving pretty fast. But right. yeah, he was pretty chill just um, making his way out here. I mean, there's all neighborhood right there and then there's not i don't even know where he came from probably just the desert on the other side of that you know that wall but he's pretty young though ain't he eh, i would probably say in comparison to us probably like between like our age oh, okay. <laughs> he's not a not a baby but he's not a full adult either so yeah. Hey everyone, headed to a call in Cave Creek. Gentleman just called, he has a rattlesnake on his back patio. I guess it uh, started rattling in him when he was taking the trash out, but now it's under some pool floats. Um, and he's got a bunch of kids, he says, so he does not need that in his backyard. So I'm gonna go get it for him. Hello. Hey there. How you doing? Good, it's going. Got, got this. Hey Google, <laughs> stop. <laughs> oh, under that so, stuff. Yeah, we, we you can't see, see it? it for sure, but we assume it went underneath one of those things. Okay. Yeah, last time I saw it, it went under the blue. Is it big or no? What? How big is it? Oh, okay. Bigger. Bigger. <laughs> Bigger. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's right there. You see? Dang, that was easy! <laughs> Holy crap! You can come check them out in the bucket if you want. Okay, come here guys. Here, let me get them away from the door. Wow. It's cool, huh? See, they look so small when they're all curled up. He was over here. That's oh, was he? Yeah. Was all, like, oh, okay. Yeah. Ooh, scary. Dang, you did that in like a second! <laughs> Whoa! Cool, huh? Yeah, cool. Oh my god. <laughs> It's a Western Diamondback. Yeah. Dang. Oh, cool. You got a snake. Very cool. That's the same kind. Same kind as this. That's awesome. Okay, does he have like oh, people look. that come with him or not? Uh, they, they're usually solo, but I'll, I'll poke around and, and look for you. Thank you. are welcome. So as you're already aware, Western Diamondback rattlesnakes and Mojave rattlesnakes can look pretty similar as adults. When they're tiny babies or neonates, 
that can be even more difficult to tell them apart just because the pattern hasn't had time to mature and some of those features that make, make it look obviously like one or another just aren't there yet. So to help me out and show you the differences, I have these. It's a bunch of baby rattlesnakes. Uh, one jar is a bunch of Mojave rattlesnakes. The other one is a bunch of baby Western Diamondback rattlesnakes born here in our facility. And we're gonna show you some close-ups and some things that you can tell to key out one versus another, even when they're super tiny little baby snakes. So as you can see, the Mojave rattlesnakes really have a more high contrast and clean pattern with complete scale shapes. And each scale tends to have a more or less be a single color. Where the Western Diamondbacks have a lot more degree of speckling and inexact chaotic pattern and usually less contrast. When seen side by side like this, it really stands out. And just like the adult versions of these snakes, the facial stripes can be a clue as well. Mojaves tend to go back and pass the mouth where Western Diamondbacks intersect with the base of the mouth itself. But with the Western Diamondback, those stripes often will go up over the top of the eyes as well and create a white X which you can clearly see here that is missing from the Mojave rattlesnakes. And yes, as babies, as in adults, the scales on the top of the heads can indicate as well, where Mojaves might have two scales, sometimes three, and Western Diamondbacks might have four or more. But at this size, unless you have a microscope and a death wish or a really high powered camera and a lot of patience, it's really not very useful. And yes, there are dozens more that we're not even gonna get into, just things like the shape of the head and uh, differences in the way that the tail looks. But what I would encourage you to do is do what I do and stop focusing too much on the individual details. Zoom out a bit, get out of the weeds and look at the animal itself, the sum of its parts. And you can see that when these two animals are side by side, they really don't look that similar at all. A really good way to develop your skills might be to take pictures of the snakes that you see, tell us what you think it is in the Arizona Snake ID group, and you'll see if you're right or wrong and get some experience and just over time develop that sense of what these things look like. What they both have in common is that even as newborns, they are incredibly toxic, not more dangerous than adults, but still it's a helicopter ride to the hospital that you don't want, and they're also super cute. So before I put this thing down into that nice little pack rat nest that I found there, I wanted to kind of show you what these things look like. Not often do we have the time to show a lot of the rattlesnakes up close that we find. You can see why here we don't really refer to them as Mojave Greens, because although they can have green coloration in some of their grassland habitats that they live in throughout their range, when they live out in the desert like this, they often have this gray, tan, or straw color. This Western Diamondback here. Get you out of here, put you in this. Here, hold. There he is. See you later, buddy. Well, got the snake. They had a lot of kids. I think he said four under four or something like that. <laughs> uh, little boy was so cute. He had a bunch of stuffed animal rattlesnakes. They were really cool. I kind of wanted one. And he kept bringing them out and uh, showing me. He, I guess he loves snakes and he loves reptiles. So that's so cool. I love seeing that. But that definitely, uh, the yard kind of scares me. They have a lot of desert around them. A lot of kids toys out there. Snakes will hang out under, under any shady thing. So kids toys out there providing a lot of shade and shelter you just got to be careful when your kids are out playing kind of got to check under their toys or uh, at least put their toys up so that they're not grabbing under stuff because that's how accidents happen thank you guys so much for watching bye